I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Chapter 6 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 requires that public officers, public servants, state officers must bring honor and dignity to the nation and dignity to their offices. I will leave it to the conscience of the nation, Mr. Speaker, to judge whether or not the behavior and body language of the Deputy Governor of Kisi is fit for him to hold any public office. The Speaker, the Deputy Governor of Kisi has not just lied on oath and on record. He is at the center of a conspiracy to lie to the Senate for purposes of just exonerating himself from blame. Him and his co-conspirator must have a very dim view of the collective basic intelligence of the Senate. The speaker, the easiest way out for the DG would have been to simply apologize to his brother. Simply fix the mess that he has put one Dennis and one Lucy in. We will not be here at midnight discussing his character. The speaker, in the interest of time, I have to mention this. The key witness in defense <clears throat> of the DG has broken the hearts of millions of fathers and sons in the country. I want to take this opportunity as a speaker to assure my son Emmanuel that if I am ever to put him in any mess, I will stand with him. It is a shame for a father to put a son in trouble and take a position against his own son. This is not a trivial matter. This is a serious matter. We must fix the mess in Kisi and the speaker for and on behalf of the great people of Kitui County, I will stand to be counted to fix the mess in Kisi County. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Newton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to be very brief 